Hey guys, don't have any makeup on, no nothing. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, it's 10.55. But I just got home from a five hour ride from the mountains. I've been home for like an hour, but I just got settled in. We were talking outside and stuff, and I took care of the dirty clothes and all that stuff. So now I'm ready to be here solely for my other package that just came and I didn't even post the first video yet and I'm kind of questioning if it was even worth it from my last Glambot purchase but you had to spend like 20 or 25 dollars something around there to be into the vault which is like the good deals and stuff so everything here in this package is from the vault I apparently got it like yesterday so I was gone for two days. It would have been until tomorrow, but that changed, obviously. But it's okay, because it was so hot out that nothing really could have happened. And everyone was just so chill. It's like, let's just go home today. It's fine. So. Let's get this open. <sighs> Last time I only got two things because everything else was pretty much in the vault. So now these are my vault goodies. Let's open this one. This one's my 80% full aquamarine crystal setting spray. I actually think it actually looks a little more than like 90%. I wouldn't say just 80, but it's mostly full aqua marine setting spray. I've seen like really good reviews about these that I would give it a try. I didn't even know the ColourPop did sprays of anything, so I thought, oh, okay. Let me just add on to my ColourPop collection real quick. <laughs> And then the person who did this by like cleaning it and sending it and everything was the team member KL. So I always say thank you even though they probably aren't going to find me. I'm like, oh thanks KL for like cleaning the stuff and processing it. I think it's cool that they like tell you who did it even though it's still kind of like anonymous and mysterious. Like, oh KL, like who's that? I think this is my the bomb thing I have. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. It's a few things in one. Okay, so this is the lipstick. This was like the last one or so they say on the website. It actually kind of could be like a good way to like market things, but being like, oh, but this is the last one. And what if people had like 20 people were like getting that on the same screen? Like, oh, this is the last one. And it's like, if it's the last one, people must like it, hence I want it, <laughs> but it's a really cool sparkly green. It's like, where am I going to wear this? How am I going to wear this? But I'll find a way. I'll find a way. This is an 80% full one. I'm not smelling anything. But yeah, this is like my second Urban Decay lipstick, I think. And it's in the shade Junkie. It's one of the metal ones. Metalized. Then this is the Overshadow, the Balm Powder. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if they're giving you minis or if like they did this packaging or what. But I had the same thing happen to my Urban Decay little thing. And it's kind of frustrating because they show you stock photos. It's like I said stock, like S-T-I-L-K. No, stock photos, S T O C K, stock. I'm so dirty. Yeah, I'm so dirty. But yeah. It's like they show you the actual, like, real product size, and you're, you kind of think that's where you're going to get. You don't really know. But you get this little thing. But 
when it comes to things like this, I'm not really all that mad because a little bit goes a very long way. And it can, like, you can save this for months on end, maybe even years, <laughs> depending on how long you keep it. But this is no money, no honey. I looked at the other swatch shades online. This is the one that intrigued me the most. So that's the one I got. And the other glitter is an Urban Decay one as well. This is the first one I ever saw that I took interest in. And I don't know the name of this one, but it's the purple one. I think it's like Amethyst or something like that. So that's that. Those items. And then I have this thingy. I'm starting to forget what I ordered. So I'm kind of being surprised, but not really. Because I just have a bad memory. But I only ordered this stuff like a day or two after I ordered everything else. Oh yeah, this is my ColourPop eyeshadow. I never had a ColourPop eyeshadow before. And this is just like one of the colors that really intrigued me. It's really hard to tell like on a website how it's going to look versus in person. Because the settings on the screen and like the colors and stuff and what if you think it's different you know it's like people go to a store and they want to get foundation matched and then on the screen it can look different so you end up getting something different but this one's pretty true to what i thought it was going to be it's pretty much like never been used at least that's how it looks still see the pattern in there Ooh, it's creamy it's like how i thought it would be so that's really cool and it's in the shade snapdragon i remember being intrigued by the name yeah i remember that now so everything here i think was like under thirty dollars pretty sure it was like around 30 or so but you have to keep in mind you're also paying for the name so i already knew what i was getting here like these are like the actual sizes of the products but when it comes to them doing this i'm just like really though because you still did charge me like five dollars or something for them so is it really worth it when you're not getting like the actual like thing that you're showing me that's where I feel iffy. Because I know I had to spend 20 25 or whatever to get into the vault. But now that I got into the vault and I got what I wanted, is it worth it? Yes and no. When it comes to these little things, it's like I thought they were going to give me the full size product. But just a little more of it used. But you're only getting these. Like these are like sample sizes, kind of. So I don't know. If you with this, the good on this, everything here would probably be like 20 bucks or more, depending on how much this lipstick usually goes for. But then again, it's also 80% used. But that's everything in this package this time. So I got five things from the vault, but two things out of the vault. And I guess I'll just show that now because I do have to post that video still. But just as a little spoiler alert, this is what I got before I got into the vault to spend money to get into it. Which I said before is like a good marketing thing. Like, oh, well, in order to be part of this, you have to spend money to get in. It's really gimmicky. But I took part. Obviously, they got me somehow. So I spent like 16 on this, which I don't even think is a full size lippy. I think it's like a mini. I'm not entirely sure, but it's in the color seashell bra and it's really pretty. I was gonna bring it with me, but I forgot. And then this glitter, one of the Urban Decay ones. And I don't know the names, but yeah, I really do like the color Snapdragon. And once it's on your finger, it just like stays there. Like I can't even get rid of it. So that's cool. I'll have to look into ColourPop eyeshadows more often. And I wonder why people love them so much. 
because it's so shiny and pretty and look nothing is happening magic so I'm definitely gonna look into color pop eyeshadows more often I just figured I'd get a color that I don't really have but seashell bra very very pretty very very pretty I'll show you right now I don't know if it's eye safe because I was going to look into using it for my eyes but that's seashell bra and it kind of dries down so it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to transfer you just have to give it time to dry because I already tested it before so I can tell you that for sure but also swatch my Urban Decay lipstick too That's pretty. It really got me on the website because it just looked so pretty. I'm into things with shimmer and glitter and all that stuff in case that's not already like a known fact about me. But can you blame me? I don't know if there's like a thing where people are just drawn to more things like that. But I'm under that category. Sorry, my computer's super loud. So this, for these two things, I know they're like high-end-ish brands, and I know you're paying for the name when you pay for the product, but just for the sizes alone, I would say it's not really worth it. But I kind of don't regret it at the same time because they're really pretty products, and I'm nice like that. <laughs> so $20, $25 for these two things. That's when it's a little iffy. Because if it's more like the five things, I'll be like, yeah, cool. The two things. But this, I would say, is more worth it. You just have to be careful when you're getting pigments and eyeshadows and stuff during that thing. Or maybe any time. Because you don't really know what they're sending. They just use that photo that you get from Google or anywhere. And then they make it look like that's what you're getting when you're not. So I wish they could, like, show a photo of what you're really supposed to get. Because they're like, oh, well, this is a stock photo. But really, it's like, you're almost making it look as if that's what I'm expecting. So that's a little bit of a letdown, Glambot. But who am I? Who am I? I'm just somebody that buys from them, but they probably don't know I exist. More than likely, they don't. But other than that, I do like Glambot. I'll probably still continue to buy from Glambot, but keep an eye out for the pigments and stuff. They still last you a long time, unless you're using doses of it like crazy. They still last you, but yeah. I made that little... I wouldn't say mistake, but I did that, so now you don't necessarily have to. <laughs> and sorry, my computer is overheating. It always likes to do that, even if I just open it, it's just loud. But that's all. I'm gonna go now. See you guys later. Bye.